Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. We now have three weeks left until leave date on my cross country trip. If you have missed previous episodes in this series, I will be riding my 2016 Honda CB500X from Sacramento, California to Tampa, Florida for the Forgotten Angels camp out and then making my merry way back, hugging the southern border as much as possible in hopes that I might stay warm because I will be doing this in March. If you are super new here, I did do a cross country trip in 2020. I did a big loop of the United States from Portland to North Carolina and back. That was super fun. The series is linked above my head because it was a good time. All right, with all of that out of the way, we're a little bit behind this week because I had a little bit of a dental emergency. So if my energy is a little bit lower, please forgive me. I am still healing. We still have a lot of things to do on the to-do list. I thought that I was going to be installing lights today, but turns out I'm missing a rather crucial part of that. So, <laughs> so no lights today, but I did receive the new throttle lock. If you missed last week's episode, I broke the first one. The new one is here and ready to be installed and hopefully that will go a little bit smoother this time. I will be moving the Moto Jug because one of you kind souls who also owns a Moto Jug suggested putting it on the non-exhaust side, which is very smart. So I'll be moving the Moto Jug to the other side of the bike. I need to install the Pelican case. That needs to happen. The new brakes are still on their way, so that'll probably be one of the last things that gets done. For those who left their concerns in the comments about bigger maintenance things like tires, chain, oil, all of those things, there are about 4,000 miles left on the tires that are on the bike right now. If they wear the way the last four sets of tires have worn on my bike, which I'm pretty sure they will. I have plans to pre-order tires, have them shipped to Tampa, Florida, so I can switch tires when I get there and then have fresh tires on the way back. I changed the chain and sprockets in November. So those are all nice and shiny and new, barely have like maybe a hundred and so miles on them right now. So that's not a concern. I also changed the oil pretty recently. I just didn't document that, I'm sorry. It was the dead of winter. It was just a quick get it done kind of project. All of those things are done. <laughs> Except for brakes, brakes are still on their way. Uh, the wonderful people at SBS are sending me new rotors and new brake pads for front and back. So I'll be starting fresh for this trip. I'm very excited. And at the end of this video, we're going to do another little show and tell because I'm finally allowed to share with you some of the magical things that XPED sent me for the upcoming trip and a couple of other pieces that have shown up in the meantime. I like doing show and tell you guys. I get very excited about the new things. Uh, shall we tackle the throttle lock? Um, cross your fingers for me that this goes a little bit better than last time. Yeah, <laughs> a lot better than last time. Okay. <laughs> and we are not using vice grips. Yeah! Wow, that was very easy. That makes breaking the last one very embarrassing. Um, everything's fine. <laughs> the important thing is that it's on and it works now. Boop. Okay, with that win out of the way, let's, let's move on to the next project, shall we? <laughs> All right, Moto Jug has been moved to the other side, so I will not have hot water from the exhaust pipe. And I think it's time to address the Pelican case in the room. Ooh, I'm about to drill holes in a thing that's waterproof and potentially make it not waterproof, but everything will be fine. Everything, everything will be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, upon, <laughs> upon um, trying to attach the first screw, I am gonna need some bigger washers, but that is okay. The important thing is that we have started the process. <laughs> uh, 
is this like whole series just like me getting like two steps into a thing and um, learning that I don't have all the stuff that I need? Probably. I've got these two nice and done. Those end up working out. I just needed to shift stuff a little bit. However, these two in the forward that you can't quite see, it's too dark. I'm gonna need much, much bigger washers for those. <laughs> Okay, so the Pelican case is half mounted right now, so I kind of gave myself a half check on the whiteboard. So we've made a decent amount of progress on my to-do list today that I feel like I earned show and tell time. <laughs> Starting with my awesome new kryptonite lock. Thank you, Carrie, for purchasing this for me. I have been looking at upgrading to a disc lock for a long time. I know that Doodle on a Motorcycle highly recommends these locks, so I'm very stoked to have this with me for this journey. This one's gonna be kind of funny to those of you who've been watching me for a while, but I bought a taller windscreen for my camp stove. I know that it'll be quite windy when I go to Texas for sure, and also Southern Arizona is known to be quite windy. So I wanted to make sure that at least this trip, I will have a tall enough windscreen for my stove. <laughs> Shall we go through the box now? <laughs> I'm super excited to say that Exped has agreed to sponsor this trip and have sent me some awesome goodies that will be going with me on this trip. I'm so excited. <laughs> Starting with a new sleeping bag. Now I'm not saying that I'm getting rid of my old sleeping bag or that I don't love it just as much as I used to. However, the matter of the fact is that it packs down very large. <laughs> so when Xpen said that they would send me a sleeping bag, I jumped on it. So this is the Comfort Women's 15 degree sleeping bag. It has a comfort rating of 25 degrees. Between this and my base layers and a couple other tricks, this should be perfect for this trip. They also sent me a new pillow that I'm stoked to try out. I'm always trying to find the perfect pillow. They sent me a new air pump and you guys know how much I love my sleeping pad air pumps. I will never go back. They sent me this awesome backpack, which unfortunately will not be going with me. I just can't make the room right now. They also sent me a new closed cell foam mat, which is much higher quality than the one that I took on the March camping trip last year. They also sent me new down booties. Now I've raved before about down booties. However, these are so much warmer than my old pair. These are heavy duty. And then the grand finale, my new sleeping pad. Exped just did a big overhaul of all of their backpacking mats, and this is the new Dura 8R. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know this is not my first Exped sleeping mat. I've had the Sinmat 7, which unfortunately I punctured at Babes Are Out, and I'm still in the process of like finding all of the baby tiny holes to patch. We're not gonna talk about the star thistles. It's fine. Anyway, at the beginning of 2021, I upgraded to this down mat XP9. It is the medium size, so it's a little bit narrow, but the insulation in this was so worth it and got me through all of my camping last season, even all of those times when I was camping below freezing. So I am probably just as excited as I was when I got upgraded to this mat last year as I am about this mat now because this is also the medium wide so I'll have even more room to be comfortable. I think that's everything that I had to show and tell with you this week. However, I do have one more thing that I need to address from last week's video. I asked you guys whether I should take the heated seat pad or the heated sleeping pad cover with me by Ignic. However, I think some people got confused because I talked earlier in the episode about like buying one of those heated bike seat inserts and putting them in my seat. And I think some people got confused that that is what this is and it is not. This is not for the motorcycle. <laughs> if I take either one, it would be purely to warm my sleeping bag at night or maybe my camp chair. This would just not be safe to put on the motorcycle and ride. I don't even know if it would actually put out enough power to warm me through my riding suit either. Anyway, um, I probably am still gonna take the seat pad cover instead of the sleeping pad cover just because of pack size. 
All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. A huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who made these videos possible. I would not be able to do this without you. Also a shout out to Exped for coming on to this trip as a gear sponsor. I cannot wait to try out the new sleeping bag and the new sleeping pad. And I'm very excited about those down booties. <laughs> Question for my end screen crew. Let me know if you're doing any upgrades to your bike right now, whether it's in preparation for the spring riding season or if you're in the middle of your riding season right now, I would love to know. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>